definitely an exciting weekend in sports and even more exciting weekend tonight. Welcome into under the lights here on KSHB 41. It is now week 10 of the season. We have playoffs on both sides of the state line. It's now win or go home from here on out. We're going to start off with our high V high school game of the week. We flash it back to last year. Same two teams battling it out against one another. St. James Academy won 35 to 7 over baser Linwood, handing them their first loss of the season. St. James will go on to win the Kansas 4A state title. Both coaches know what's at stake tonight. When people have been running the ball on us, we had a tough time uh, stopping them. So, um, you know, that's that's our biggest concern. And I think for us, it's going to take a complete game. Uh, you know, one of the advantages I think we've had this season is our special teams have played really, really well, and we're going to need that again on Friday. But I think if we can play a complete game, we're going to have a chance. Just unfortunate we've seen each other. You know, I'd love to see Baser go on a lot farther, but we just happened to run into each other um, early in the playoffs. And, um, yeah, so a really good team is going to be going home Friday night. So hopefully it's not us, but a good team's going home on Friday. All right, so let's get into it. Our Hy-Vee High School game of the week. The right to move on in the chase for the Kansas for a state title. Here we go. St. James at Baser Linwood will pick it up. Already first and goal. St. James Blake Boydison takes the direct snap, runs it up the middle for the first points of the night. The Bobcats, though, going to get a chance to respond after this one. Brady Van Dong with the pass. Ball is tipped. St. James interception. That's Corey Clark there getting the pick. So St. James takes over and of course the ball goes to Boydston again. Fakes the handoff. Brings it back. Sends it sailing. This time connects with Finn Burrett. Touchdown St. James. 35-6 to is that final. St. James Academy. Big win there. So here's the latest look at the Kansas 4-8 bracket with St. James Academy advancing along with St. Thomas Aquinas. So now let's go to the Missouri side. Give them some love. We got Lisa Menorth taking on Lee Summit. First quarter, the Broncos get on the board first. Tanner Howes going to take it from 14 yards out. That's 7-0 Broncos. Lee Summit Tigers now with the football. Watch Elijah Martinez with the pressure. In his face finds Devin Andrews. All the way down on third down play for a big down on that one. It's going to set up Ron McCarthy from 33 yards out to put the Tigers on the board with a nice little field goal there. But Lisa North just kept responding. Quincy Baker here takes the handoff from Maxwell Ford. Finds the end zone. Broncos will go on to win. Lisa North wins this one 35-17. So let's take a look now at the Missouri Class 6 bracket. Ray Peck still in this one. They got a win over Joplin. It's going to be a battle of the Lee Summits next weekend as well. North taking on West, both schools advancing. All right, last week, Blue Springs South was in Liberty for their final game of the regular season. A week later, the roles going to flip flop. But this time, one team season coming to an end. Blue Springs South came away with a 38-14 victory over Liberty. South Cash Parker with 14 of 21 for 204 yards and two touchdowns. Could South duplicate that success? Well, we'll find out. Liberty traveling to Blue Springs South. Everyone in attendance tonight. The Jags with an early 21-7 lead. More Cash Parker gets the sack and the Jaguars give it back to Liberty. We'll jump ahead and Anthony Winston here takes the handoff. Watch him just find the open field here. Set up the Blue Jays with an opportunity to do this. Kale Mortmer finds Dominic Ravels for the Blue Jays response. And that's going to be a touchdown, Blue Jays. Blue Spring South would answer. Here comes, watch Bryce Reeves right here, 50 yards for a touchdown all the way to the house. The Jags would lead after that one. Blue Spring South picks up the win. They go on 42-14. So let's take another look at the brackets. This is the Missouri Class 6 District for bracket, as you can see those results there. Let's get back into the action, though. Park Hill South at Staley, late first quarter. KV Stone there with the one yard touchdown strike. Staley 14 to seven lead. We'll jump ahead, middle second quarter. Colt Robertson's pass deflected. Jordan Hillsinger, Dante Wells with a pick six and uh, takes it to the house. We are now tied up at 14. Still in the middle second quarter. Briggs Bartosh to Darian Jones. Nice little 17 yard touchdown. Park Hill South takes a 21 14 lead. We'll go late second quarter after an interception. Bartosh with the QB keeper. Keeps it right side, gets in the house. 28 to 10, Park Hill South lead. Park Hill South pulls off the upset, 50 to 40 victory. All right, Park Hill visiting Rockers. The Trojans already with an early 14-7 lead. Here come the Hocklets, chance to respond. Ethan Hansen goes deep. 
Jack Bowser can't make it. Park Hill's Bryce Liska comes down with it. It's an interception, so the Trojans take over, but they go three and out, so Hawklets get the ball again. This time they get it right. Hanson to Mason Tunley. Touchdown, Rockers. PAT after that, no good. So Park Hill's still up 14 to 13. Trojans march it right back down the field. Another score. QB sneak, it was so good that it even confused me. So Park Hill led 21-13 after just one. Trojans go on to win this one 49 to 42. Let's talk about Tonganoxi taking on Piper. Here we go, one minute left in the first half. Logan Ladish launches it all the way to Mason Lehurix. Finds his way into the end zone, taking the lead just before the half. We go fourth and 11, Tonganoxi punt formation, telling Lordford with the fake. Good for a first down. Nice little play there. I would have been faked out. <laughs> Second and three ball on 27. Fiber QB Logan Lennish fakes it again. The hand off the ball around to running back Miguel Martin there, as you see in the end zone. 35 14 Piper. So let's take another look at the brackets. Piper taking the dub here to the Kansas 4 A bracket for regionals next week. Bishop Miege getting ready for Eudora. And we're getting ready to take our first break here on Under the Lights. We're going to take a little quick time out, but when we return, we check in on the Missouri State softball and more football games from all around when we continue on Under the Lights. Welcome back into Under the Lights. So while football teams around the area have dreams of a state championship, another sport in Missouri living it out this weekend. We got softball, Blue Spring South versus Francis Howell, Missouri Class 5 state championship. Top of four, that's Abby Willem with the two-run shot to right. Blue Spring South takes a 2-0 lead. They roll in this one 10-2 for the Missouri Class 5 State Championship. Let's go Kearney versus Helias for the Class 4 Championship. Base is loaded. Alyssa Hand there with the Grand Slam. She had eight RBI on the day, a championship game record. Kearney wins it 14 to nine. Chilcothy taking on Bowling Green in the semis. Bree Pithen with a walk off home run. Bottom of the 11th and the Hornets are gonna go to the Class 3 State Championship. Chilcothy gonna take on Another team on Saturday at 12.15 p.m. Polo taking on Salisbury in the semifinals. Bottom four, Hannah Vaught with the shot into the gap to left to right center. Two run score, Polo takes a 6-0 lead. They go on to win 6-5. They're gonna take on Canton Saturday at 2.30 p.m. Shawnee Mission Northwest at Blue Valley West. Early second quarter, we're back to the football field. Malik Oedis off the option, pushes forward and finds a cut bat lane. Await us to the house. 44 yard touchdown. Northwest cuts the lead to three. Late second quarter, William Flickinger. Feeling pressure. Throws it down to Zach Darsh. Comes up with it for the pick. Returns it 68 yards for the pick six. Blue Valley West takes a 24 7 lead. They go on to win it 52 28. So next week it's going to be Olathe West taking on Blue Valley and Olathe South and Olathe Northwest fighting that off for who is going to advance in the playoffs. Now it is time for our Metro matchup moment of the night, sponsored by D. Squally Moore Law Firm. Here we go, Topeka West at Sumner, seven and seven first when Sumner's Antonio Harrison rolled in from four yards to make it a 13-7 lead. Harrison with a 10-yard touchdown run. Here we go, all the way to the house, and Sumner gonna go up 34 to 26. Here comes Harrison with the hat trick. Sumner gets the win 42-47. Again, that was our Metro matchup moment of the night, sponsored by Deep Squally Moore Law Firm. Let's take a look at the Kansas 5A bracket. Mill Valley going to face Shawnee Heights. Sumner picking up the win means they're going to face Pittsburgh. Next game takes us to Van Horn. Tonka in town visiting early second quarter. That's Quentin Cooper, three-yard touchdown. Van Horn, 8-0 lead. Middle third quarter, Sammy Bailey, 18 yards. Here we go, 15-0 lead. We'll go middle fourth quarter. Here comes Cooper again. This time a three yard touchdown run. Van Horn 22-0. Winnetonka falls in the shutout. Van Horn 22-0 on this one. So Van Horn moves on. They're gonna face Smithville. While we take another look at the Missouri class four district. Eight and here we got Carney advancing to take on Excelsior Springs. Here we go. Let's talk to a man who actually knows what's going on because I just read so much stuff. Uh, my mind is just Ooh. Right, Dion? Okay. <laughs> Why don't you tell me, hey. for, Dion Calista from Preps KC, let me guys introduce you guys. Tell me what was the biggest surprise of the night? 
I think most people might say Park Hill and Park Hill South winning uh, those games, but all three of those middle games were toss-up games in that district. So I'm not stunned that Park Hill and Park Hill South won. Uh, I think that uh, Olathe South being tested by Blue Valley North uh, really is interesting to see that game because uh, I thought Olathe South was going to be really pretty dominant, but Blue Valley North beat St. James last week and then ended their season with a close uh, loss to Olathe South. So that's that's the game that kind of jumped off. They were Olathe South was tied in that game late uh, and had to had to get a late touchdown to get that win. Dion, I'm some I'm glad somebody was paying attention tonight. Someone has their head on straight. <laughs> we're going to talk with you a little bit more to get some more insight. It's another time to take another break here on our Under the Lights. When we return, we got our fourth quarter. We're going to preview the second week of playoffs that's coming up after the break. Our expert, Dion Closo from Preps KC. Dion, now that we've gotten through the first week of playoffs, let's look forward to next week. What matchups you got your eye on? Well, uh, one that's going to be down south is Ray Peck at Nixa. Ray Peck that went down and beat a ranked Joplin team and, and hung 50 on them. Uh, they're a dangerous team. They can score on anybody. If they can figure out a, a way to get three stops a game, they've got a good chance. Uh, the, the two Park Hill schools matching up in Class 6 will be interesting. And then uh, I think that, uh, you know, in Class 4 on the Kansas side, uh, you've got a lot of great games over there. That was a, a great bracket to start off with. And you've got like a Eudora Bishop Miege, which should be a good one as well. All right, already a first good week of playoffs. We got more to look forward to next week. Dion, always a pleasure having you on. Thanks again for you guys joining us on week nine of Under the Lights.